Hey guys, yeah, back again. I'm um, Dave here. The uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to uh, bring you down underneath my van and give you a bit of a look around under the van. Um, underneath the van, uh, JB have actually covered a lot of the pipes. However, they have left a few hoses unprotected. So what I'm going to do today is get some pool noodle and put over them and zip tie them up. First of all, I'll give you a look at. Uh, underneath so you can actually see what's going on under here there is a fair bit of protection and it's a fairly good job that JB have done right oh so I'll start at the back of the van and work my way forward all right right at the very back we have checker plating here that covers the bolts that hold on the rear bumper then we have checker plating that covers the water tanks if you look up in under the water tanks you'll see the hoses to the water tanks and JB have covered them with some sort of piping now you can see a lot of other hoses and connections that aren't actually covered these ones all in here so a good rock up into here might snap it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put some uh, pool noodles over it and give it some protection. All right, looking along here, here's the gas tank, which is covered by checker plating as well. Some more hoses up under here and pipes. As we move down under, further well you can see this checker plating that's covering the uh, air tank put some hoses up here they're all unprotected so I'll see whether I can cover them up here's the uh, airbag suspension Cruise Master. Pretty nifty gear. All right, coming along, there's some more wires and lots of uh, tubing that will also need covering up. Coming up the front, there is plenty of it. into the uh, stairs to the step what I do like is this uh, hard plasticky stuff that they've put underneath the van my last one didn't have that this van does the two front water tanks are also protected by checker plate But again, up the front, we have a few more pipes. That are unprotected. Won't hurt to uh, cover them up. This would appear to be the gas line. It's got brass, so it's very hard on the inside of it, but I'll still cover it up the best I can, just to give it protection. So yeah, that is the underneath of the Scorpion Sting Air. 
breather hose, one of the tanks. So now I'll uh, do a little bit of measuring, I'll uh, grab my pool noodles, I went down to Kmart and picked up 10, $2 a pop, got some uh, zip ties and I'll get to it and start tying her all up and I'll give you a look as we go. Well guys, I've uh, spent the morning um, putting on the pool noodles, it's taken me a while, 10 noodles in all, I'll just give you a bit of a look at how it's turned out. most of them um, to the best of my ability obviously some I couldn't get to or there was just too not enough room between them and the uh, chassis where they've been screwed and bolted in I've done the major ones including under my stair because I have electric, an electric step so it just protects the wire um, all this up here hopefully is protected by the uh, checker plate I've done my uh, gas lines, which goes through here. And up out here to the bayonet. So I've done that. And also up there where it comes out of the uh, front box, where the gas uh, cylinders are so yeah hopefully that will get me out of trouble on stony roads like on our way to birdsville all right just a simple fix two dollars per noodle from the Kmart a few zip ties and it should keep me out of trouble. Anyway guys, um, hopefully that helps you. Um, as I said, I don't know everything. Um, I'm just trialling things as I go. Um, if you have any questions, put them down below. Send them to me either on Facebook, Messenger or here on YouTube. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It just helps the channel out. We've already hit 164 subs in just over four weeks so yeah it's going pretty well um and just before i go earlier this morning there was a tap on my door my plumber has a really weird sense of humor catches <laughs> <laughs>